This is Top Accolade African News Update. I am Soy Bifa Jagaric. A planned mass wedding of 100 orphans in Nigeria has sparked widespread public outrage over concerns about the welfare of those involved. The wedding, set for the end of this month, was sponsored by Abdul Malik Sakindanji, the Speaker of the National Assembly in the largely Muslim northwestern state of Niger. It involved orphans who had lost family members during attacks by armed gangs. Critics have expressed concerns that some girls may be underage or being forced to comply for financial gain. Nigerians women are feminists. Uju Kennedy Ohaneye condemned the plan and said she would seek a court injunction to stop the ceremony. Human rights activists in Nigeria have also launched a petition to stop the plan. Following the public outrage, Speaker Sakindanji has announced his withdrawal from the ceremony. But the Imam's Forum of Niger said the marriage ceremony should go ahead on 24th May, insisting that the girls are not underage. The ages of the girls were not immediately known. Some intended brides who spoke to the local media defended the program. Mass weddings are fairly common in mostly Muslim parts of northern Nigeria, where religious and cultural norms such as polygamy favor the practice. South Africans living abroad will be the first set of voters to cast their ballots on Friday, ahead of the main polls on 29th May. South African voters living in Algeria, Egypt, Iran, Jordan, Kuwait, South Arabia and Syria will cast their vote at their respective foreign missions between 7.00 and 19.00 local time. South Africans in over 100 other countries will vote on Saturday. Voting will extend to Sunday for voters in London, where nearly a third of the 76,580 South African voters living abroad expected to cast their ballots. Voting will not happen in Israel, Ukraine and Sudan, which are all currently experiencing conflicts. The Senegalese Prime Minister Osman Sonko has raised the possibility of closing French military bases in the country. Speaking at the conference in the capital, Dakar, Mr. Sonko wondered why Senegal still had several French bases more than 60 years after independence from France. Sonko questioned the impact of the French military presence of the country's sovereignty. I reiterate here the desire of Senegal to have its own control, which is incompatible with the lasting presence of foreign military bases in Senegal. The Premier is quoted as saying, France has about 350 troops in Senegal. He promised to strengthen ties with Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger who have pushed out French troops and turned to Russia for help in fighting jihadist insurgencies. Sonko, a firebrand politician, was appointed prime minister by his protege, Basil Dalmaye Faye, who was elected president in March. The Kenyan wildlife authorities have urged residents of Nairobi's Langata area to be vigilant following reports of three lions spotted nearby. A team from the Kenyan Wildlife Service, KWS, was deployed to search for the reported roaming lions near Langata Women's Prison on the outskirts of the city. But the team was unable to spot the lions after a long night search, Kenyan Wildlife Service said in a statement. It however said the team was still monitoring the situation closely and was on high alert. Ensuring the safety of the public is our top priority. It added residents were urged to report any wildlife sighting in the area. It is not the first time lions are reported to have escaped from the Nairobi National Park which is fitted for being the only game park in the world within a city. That is the size of Top Accolade African News Update. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen. Happy Friday.